You know, I, I, not too long ago, I met a brother. He came up to me. He wanted to take Shahada. Uh, you know, he's, he's, he's in the Midwest somewhere in Ohio. And he told me that he's been a you know, white guy. He's been a bartender for his whole life. And I don't know how he found one of my videos or something on YouTube. And he starts watching a bunch of them. And he went through the entire Juz Amma tafsir that I've done podcast, which is complicated, but he went through the whole thing. Sitting in the bar, just plugging in the ear, and he's pouring drinks for his friends. Six months. Took shahada. On his own. No Muslim around him. Actually, he did tell me he has some Muslim friends, regulars at the bar. <laughs> you know, he asked him a few questions about Islam. So he takes shahada and he says, you know, I'm, I'm ready to leave this life. I haven't had a drink. A bartender hasn't had a drink for six months. Hasn't had a drink. When you look at him, you're not going to know this guy has taqwa. But I can guarantee you, that man has more taqwa than most of us. The situation he's in and the way he holds himself back and then he finally quit. No savings, no nothing. He quit. I can't do it anymore. I can't go back. Even the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu ajma'een were not given the, the, the ayat to quit alcohol right away. They were told the harm and the sin is greater than the benefit. Then they were told at least don't be drunk when you're about to pray. Then years later they were told leave it all together. Allah did not reveal one time, leave alcohol. And this man left alcohol on his own once he heard about Islam. Subhanallah. That's taqwa. <coughs> but when you look at him, you wouldn't know. You had, you'd have no idea. Don't put people down. Don't think of them as less than you. They may be way better than you are. Asa an yakunu khayram minkum. Asa an yakunna khayram minhunna.